Chef Susser Lee is back in the City Line Samsung kitchen. This is getting very comfortable now. You come here, you make amazing food. Any more trips to LA recently? <laughs> no, actually, uh, they were at my house uh, a few days oh, ago. Oh, that's nice. But they nice. left. I felt a little sad, but uh, yeah. yeah, I'm so happy. You know, keep coming back in this kitchen. I feel really comfortable cooking here now. It's good to have you here because we like to eat whatever you serve up. And today it is the celebrated braised beef and leek mashed potatoes, which sounds amazing. And chef, this has been on the menu at your restaurant for a very long time. It is very popular. I want to know why it's such a staple for your customers. Well, because uh, this style of braised beef actually is Asian style. Mm -hmm. You have all these Asian spices. Um, you know. A lot of people, you know, making braised beef is very Western. Yeah. Uh, you know, some people use the island style. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, for my heritage, I want to bring in a little bit of spice from, you know, Asia. Yeah. So it's, it's very simple. Key. It's very simple. I have all this thing here. You can buy yeah. in, you know, uh, a Chinese grocery or even a Western grocery. Um, so what I have here is just veal stock yeah. or beef stock mm -hmm. or even chicken stock if you want to use. Okay. Anything will have a little bit of that kind of meaty taste. Yeah. So what I need from you, Tracy, I need you to put, I'm going to put the beef in. Okay. And uh, then I will do the rest of the work because I'm here go. anyways. So, and I know I have to. Now, what I choose is cheeks. I want to show cheeks. them that. Why do you use the uh, beef cheeks for because this? Because it's very tender, oh, number yeah. one. When you braise it, it gets really soft. Okay. So we put it like in that. the stock. So can you put two uh, cinnamon sticks? Yeah. And I'm going Excuse to put my a, reach. only two star anise. You, you don't need too many of those, yes. right? What One else? piece of uh, cardamom pot. Oh, that's now, what this is. Throw yes. it in whole like that? That's it. Okay. So I also have some ginger. Can you put all this uh, uh, coriander in? All of it? All of it. I okay. put four pieces of ginger. Oh, but, and put the stalks in too? Everything. Oh, okay. All right. Then oh, I gosh, have that smells good. shallots. You can put about two shallots inside. Two? Cut it up. It's more than oh, two. Oh, okay. Looks I like. thought you meant like two little pieces. I'm like, Jeff, <laughs> come on now. I'm testing your ability now. <laughs> so, uh, brown sugar. Uh, I have brown sugar. I put about two tablespoons. Yeah. Oyster sauce. Which one's put that? Two, yeah. Can you put four of this inside? Yeah. I kid you not, everyone. I wish you could smell how good this smells. And we have barely begun to start the cooking of it. So it's just this combination of spices and seasoning is amazing. Now I put a little bit of dark soya. There are many different kinds of soya. Okay. I, I choose dark soya because it gives a very nice color. Yeah. And can you put one big tablespoon of this tomato paste? Sure. Meanwhile, I have some sherry wine. Big you know, tablespoon there. Now, you know, if you don't use sherry wine, you can mm -hmm. also use like Madeira, you can use port wine, you can do that. Okay. Now, I have a one beef already been braised, Ooh. and look at this. How long has that been like kicking around in there for? Well, need to be boiled at least, like really kind of bring it to your first boil. Yeah. Then after that, it just slow boil, braised for almost one and a half hour. Oh. Okay. Very slow. Slow and low. Yes. Low and slow. So you see, this uh, cheeks is getting really kind of soft and tender. The yeah. color is great. The smell is great. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to thicken up with a little bit of cornstarch. Okay. So the trick is thickening up cornstarch, I always take it out uh -huh. off the stove because otherwise you make it into like a little dump, little dumpling, which you don't want that. Oh, you so don't I, want that. Yeah, okay. you stir it with a little water, mm -hmm. uh, with a little bit of cornstarch. I put about, about two tablespoons. Very now, nice. meanwhile, I have some Thai squash, which I just cook it with a little bit of water, a little bit of salt. Okay. And then I'm going to dish it out and show you. Yeah, plate it for us. Yes. I mean, this is obviously the sort of restaurant, uh, restaurant, it's obviously <laughs> the sort of recipe you want to take your time with when you're doing it at home. Open a bottle of wine. You know, it's going to take some time because that's the whole idea of braising. But I like doing it city line style. Look at that. We're done and it's been five minutes. <laughs> you know, it's really great also. You can use oxtail. It's really oh, nice. Oh, you're speaking my language now, chef. And this is also yes. good, you know, if you are working, you know, um, you can braise it and freeze it. You can just take it okay. to work, and then you can also, you know, microwave it. Yeah. Very simple. Now, yeah. I've got some wild mushrooms. Okay. And I just throw it in, just braise it together. Okay. What I did this mushroom before, I kind of have a little quick saute. Oh, that's what you did. Now we're going to do some plating. Let's plate. Yeah. So, so show us the magic. So, you know, the magic you're going to do it with me. So oh, you great. come over here. <laughs> I might ruin the magic. So, I'll try. First, Cheeks on the top. The whole thing? The whole thing, yes. 
This is so great to share in with family too. Like that? Now, yeah, and then you put all the sauces with a little chunk of mushroom right on the top. Do you see that Suster Lee is trusting me to do this plating? Like I'm not even holding the, the spoon properly. So do you have enough mushrooms on top? Oh yeah, more, more, more? Keep a little bit more, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. how about a little bit of that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit of that? Just a little bit. How about a little bit of that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because the cheap, you know, eating this, you know, the best combination is... What? Mashed potato. Because, yes, sir. You know, the season of Christmas, which Bring I'll be on. also using this on my menu during Christmas. Oh, nice. So I have mashed potato made oh, already. Oh, this is beautiful. What did you put on top? Some chopped chives and mm. a little bit of fried onions or mm. fried shallots. That's what I love. Okay. And also I have some diced uh, uh, squash, a little sour cream on the top. Oh, that's so good. So a little bit of chive that I have prepared. Is this one serving? That was like the whole braised this, beef. This is a family style. Okay. Family style. Like Christmas is about sharing. Okay, I'm coming to your restaurant. Yes. This is very good. I also bought you another uh, kitchen uh, new toy that I discovered. We have daikon in here. Yes. Um, and you want me to try and like roll it out? Just a very, very just gentle a little, touch. What? Just a yeah, little push? Yes. Not so hard. This just, way? Yeah, go, go, <laughs> go. Go. Okay. Like working in the farm, a little bit harder. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. A little bit right. harder. I'm not getting it. Oh, it's coming out. Yeah, okay. a little bit harder. Okay, all okay, right. Okay, you need a lesson. No, hold on. You need a lesson. I got it, Chef. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> okay. Is this, are we going to put that on the plate? Well, it's supposed to, but now you kind of like, look at that. It's beautiful. Well, yeah, go put it on your plate. It looks so good. You want me to garnish with Ga this? Yeah, okay. garnish with that. I might discover something new. Listen, everyone. Actually, it's not a bad idea. Right? Actually, it looks pretty good. You probably want to <laughs> learn to do that how I just did it. Go to our website, cityline.tv, for this incredible recipe and see he can make anything work.